Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. We have yet another review video for you. Today is Griot's Garage, black satin, tire coating, tire shine, whatever you want to call it. Let's do it. So if you've seen any of my detailing videos where I apply a, a tire shine of some sort, you've probably heard me say that the one product from Griot's Garage that I do not like is their tire shine, and that is not knocking the company at all, trust me. In fact, if you've never been on my channel, let me show you why I say that that's the only thing that I don't like and it's not knocking the company. That's because pretty much everything that I have, almost everything I have, all these gallons, everything, is pretty much Griot's Garage, including the Boss machine. I got a six inch machine in here, the old six inch, and then I've got the three inch right back here. So just before anybody starts saying that I'm talking about Griot's or something like that, which I, I just know how YouTubers can be. Um, I've never cared for their tire shines. I just haven't. I have the Black Shine tire shine that comes in the uh, 16 ounce bottle, I think is what it is. And it's like a gel and you put it on the applicator and you put it on. It does look good and it does last a while. It will last through rain and stuff like that, but it slings. I hate products that sling. So then I bought the Black Shine aerosol can thinking, eh, since it's aerosol, maybe it'd be better. Same results as the other. And then I tried some of their older tire shines a long time ago and I actually used them until they were gone. And I don't remember what they were, but I don't remember what they were called, I guess I should say. But I've just never had any good luck with Griot's Garage tire shines. I went to that Adams and it seems to work really well. Well, I got a review video, like I said, on the black satin, and I was in O'Reilly Auto Parts buying some parts, O'Reilly Auto Parts buying parts for this Jeep that I've been making all these videos on. And as I do when I go in any automotive shop or Walmart or Meyer, it doesn't matter, I have to hit the detail aisle. I wanna see what's new or do they have something that I've never tried. So I went down the, uh, the detailing aisle and saw a can of this. I have not tried it and I wasn't sure you know, if I want to try Griot's Garage Tire Shines again, but what caught my eye is it says right here, dry to the touch, no greasy residue. So as soon as I saw that and it was only $8, I said, well, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna, give them, I'm gonna give them one more shot on this tire shine. Um, so I did, and I'm not gonna lie, I have used it. I used it once as soon as I got home. I wanted to see what it did, and that's been about a month ago. It's been sitting on my shelf over there ever since. And it does dry to the touch, but I didn't time it or anything like that. So this video, I'm gonna actually time it. As soon as I put it on the right front, which is what I'm gonna do a video on, and then I'll do the other three you know, off camera, and then I will wait exactly 20 minutes from the time I, let's just wait 20 minutes from the time I put this one on, cause then I'll show you guys this one dry. So I'll, I'll give you the time and uh, we'll just have to go from there. So let me get the camera set up down here and we will get started. Okay, so the directions say for best results, shake well and apply to a clean dry tires. These are clean and dry. Um, whole can upright, six to eight inches away from the surface. You are coating, spray in an even sweeping motion, working your way around the tire. Apply a light coat for a matte satin finish. Heavy or multiple coats will increase gloss level. Wipe with a dry, lint-free microfiber towel if gloss exceeds expectations. Allow product to penetrate and dry for 15 to 20 minutes. And it says tip of the tray for maximum durability and professional grade appearance. Clean the tires with the Griot's Garage rubber prep or rubber cleaner prior to application. I use the super clean on the tires as you saw, well, if you saw that video um, when we first washed this vehicle, which it hasn't even been driven since then because we're trying to revive it. So we are shaking up real good. One thing I like about Griot's Garage sprayers, even on the, the Black Shine aerosol, I love I love the sprayers. It's, it's a nice pattern you can control. It's not going to foam up or anything like that. It's just really easy to control. So here we go. Hopefully I got you guys in close enough. hit it right here again just kind of one coat around if you remember from my video on the undercarriage spray this works really well keeps stuff off the floor tire looks really good now I'm gonna show you the time it is about 630 I am gonna roll this back a little bit once I do the other three so I can get the bottom of the tire but at 
650. We will come back out here and see what it looks like. Okay, it is 650, just shy. And we were just shy of 630 when I did it, so that's fine. All tires have been covered. That's what they look like when they're dry. Like it says, you can spray it on again if you want it deeper. But the real test is, it is completely dry. Completely dry. Let's see this one. That one's just a little, little damp. I can feel just a little bit. That one is completely dry. And I will take this outside here in a few. That one is completely dry. So they finally made a product that's gonna dry and it's not going to sling. That is awesome. So uh, I'll back it out here in just a few minutes and we'll take a look at what it looks like in the daylight. So here's what it looks like out in the sun. It's just a really nice satin finish. I really like it. I'm not big into real glossy tires, but that's me. Go over here where the sun's not hitting it. Go back to this front again. It's a really nice clean look. So finally, a tire shine from Griot's Garage that I can get behind. This is a great product. I really like it. I like how easily, how easy it is to spray this aerosol can. You can kind of control where it goes. Now you do get some uh, overspray on your wheels. Just knock, you know, wipe it off with a microfiber towel. It does dry in 20 minutes, exactly like the direction said. Now I didn't test it in 15 minutes because it says 15, 20. I did it right at 20, as you saw, and they were completely dry to touch except for the right rear. And I bet now it is completely dry. Um, it is a great looking tire shine. It's it's a satin finish. Now if you don't like satin, if you're if you're the one that likes those gloss levels way up here, this is not the product for you. But I really wouldn't recommend a Griot's Garage Black Shine tire shine uh just because of the just because of the slinging that you get um with it. and i have tried them like i said i've got them in my that cabinet right back there and i just have never had any good luck with them at all even trying to knock them down i haven't had good luck but this right here i can stand behind this this is a great product for eight dollars a can i could probably i'm just i can probably get five sets of sets of tires out of it um not sure haven't had it long enough to tell you but for eight dollars a can it's a great great buy and you can get it locally advanced auto parts carries it o'reilly i know because that's where i got it but last month in advance i saw they had it and also saw the AutoZone had it so you can get it get it locally you don't have to order online it gives you a nice satin look it dries to the touch it's easy to apply and there are no negatives on this griot's garage tire shine in my book and that is awesome so i really hope you guys uh, like this video if you did hit that hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button too. And then while you're down there hitting that subscribe button, hit that little bell. So every time I upload a video, you do get notified and we will see you next time.